Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the error Windows cannot find powershell.exe which looks something like this then please watch this video I will guide you through all of these resolutions one by one. The first solution is to check whether Windows PowerShell is enabled or not and this is easy. Press the Windows key and the R button together to open the run window. In the run window type the command control space panel and hit enter. This will open the control panel window. Now in the control panel window change the view by to either large icons or small icons. Now scroll down to programs and features and click on it. Here you will get this option turn windows features on or off. Click on this one. Scroll down to windows powershell. If you notice windows powershell 2.0 that is simply the version. Make sure that all of its subsets are checked. Click on OK to save the setting and now PowerShell will be present in your computer. The next point will be to use a run command or file explorer to launch PowerShell. I'll prefer the file explorer and I'll tell you why. First of all, open the file explorer. If PowerShell is enabled, you'll definitely find it upon searching here. So type PowerShell in the file explorer search bar and search for it. You'll find this option here, which is 86 for the 32 bit computer and the normal one for the 64 bit computer. Double click on the second one to launch Windows PowerShell. I have already launched it here. The next solution will be to make PowerShell shortcut on the desktop. We'll go back to the file explorer window. Right click on the PowerShell file. Copy it. Go to the desktop window. Right click and paste it here. Now whenever you double click on it, it will launch PowerShell. The next solution is to run the system file checker scan. Search for command prompt in the windows search bar and click on run as administrator in the right pane to open the elevated command prompt window. In the elevated command prompt window, type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter to invoke the SFC scan. The next solution will be to update Windows PowerShell. Copy this command mentioned in solution number 5 here. Search for PowerShell in the Windows search bar and click on run as administrator to open the elevated PowerShell window. Paste it here and hit enter and it will start updating PowerShell just in case it was an obsolete version. If everything else fails, the last solution is to simply reset your PC and this will definitely work. Right click on the start button and select settings from the menu. Go to the system tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, scroll down and click on recovery. Corresponding to reset this PC, click on reset PC. Isn't this easy and interesting? Now if you have any issues then please go to the original article on the website the windows club. The link has been shared in the description section. Scroll down to the comments and write your comment. We are definitely going to check that and try improving on it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.